Hello lettering friends, this is Shelly of Letters by Shells and welcome back to my channel. I am so, so excited for this tutorial today just because I remember a few years ago when I first bought my iPad, I was so excited to try Procreate because that is the app that I do all of my artwork pieces on, all my lettering is done only on that app. And I was just so excited because I finally had the chance to explore this amazing app. It's so powerful too. But the first day I tried it, I was so overwhelmed by all the different features and it's just, it's a magical app, but it can be really confusing to navigate through that. So it took me a year to feel comfortable about using Procreate. So basically today I'm gonna to be talking about the main tips that I wish I knew on the first day I ever tried Procreate. So I do hope that it helps. Um, hopefully you get to learn some new things as well. The tips that I covered today is also covered in my book, Digital Hand Lettering and Modeling modern calligraphy if, you're, if you ever wanted to check that out. But I just thought it would be a really cool way to make a video of it and really just helps you with your journey. So let's get started. One of the things I wasn't sure on how to do on Procreate was basically creating my own custom canvas. At the upper right hand corner, you just tap on that plus symbol. And when you open it up, go ahead and tap on that plus symbol again. It might look like two folders overlapping one another. I'm also using Procreate 5 now, so the interface might look slightly different if you haven't updated just yet. So once you tap on that, it's gonna open up this entire window. I usually work on inches, but then today I'll be staying on pixels. So um, for my width, I'm just gonna do 3000, and then for my, for my height, I'll be doing 3000 as well. And go ahead and tap that Untitled Canvas to rename this canvas and click uh, create afterwards. So now that should open up this entire like canvas that you should be working on now. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my brush folder and just choose a lettering brush that I've made in the past and just write the word hi for this example. So to undo things, you can actually use the arrows at the bottom on the left hand side to undo stuff, but there's a quicker trick to doing that. You can also use two fingers and tap the screen to undo. I find that it works the best uh, for me because when I'm working on Procreate, I'm usually navigating through it so fast that I just want to quickly just undo things if I need to. And that's the reason why I find that one the most helpful. So for this other example, I'm going to be writing the word love. So then if you go ahead and tap on the layers tab, this is where all your artwork should be at. If I went ahead and swipe that layer to the left, I can duplicate the layers now. And then choosing the arrow button, which is like the selection button, you can move that layer around now. And then if you open up the layers again, you wanted to, you can go ahead and tap that first layer and then swipe to the right on another layer. And basically it highlights both of the layers now. So either you can group that or you can choose that arrow button again and move all the layers all at once, making it easier than, than having to move it one by one. And that way you can also resize it all at the same time. Another one of my favorite things is that recoloring your artwork piece. So there is multiple ways of doing it, but the quickest way that I know how is is tapping that layer to alpha lock it or using two fingers and swiping to the right on that layer and basically it locks the entire artwork so what that means is that your artwork is now locked and you're not able to write or color on that canvas anymore but now that it's alpha lock you can go ahead tap that layer again and click on fill layer and that way you're able to recolor your artwork piece a lot quicker as long as it's done on like separate layers of course so the other trick I wanted to go ahead and show you is if you grab your Apple Pencil and hold down onto one of the layers, it then becomes loose so that way you can move that layer around, um, whether it's like top or bottom. This is super helpful when you're working with so many different layers. Like let's say if I had 10 different layers that I was working on and I wanted to move a layer in the middle section to the very top, I'm able to do it a lot quicker. Also another trick is that if you ever work on like different layers and you ever wanted to merge them together, you can tap on the layer and choose a merge down option, but you can also use two fingers and basically squish the layers together and it becomes one layer only. 
So the other example, um, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my layers um, and just turn off that layer, layer one, so just uncheck mark it and go ahead and click on that plus symbol to open up a brand new layer. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go to the calligraphy folder and find the monoline brush and just change my color to the color black. So one of the cool things about Procreate is, you know, you're able to make really like even shapes and straight lines, but that was, it took me such a long time to figure that out. So for the longest time, I couldn't understand how to draw a straight line. I was using a ruler to make that straight line. So in order to make a straight line, go ahead and draw a rough straight line. And as long as you're holding your Apple Pencil down onto the screen, as long as you're not lifting it, then it perfects that straight line for you. And then you're able to move it around however you'd like. But that's that's only if as long as you don't lift your Apple Pencil. But now the other challenge was how to make this straight line on the canvas. So after you draw your rough straight line and then the straight line gets perfected for you, go ahead with your other hand, tap the screen just with one finger and it'll go ahead and perfect that line for you. This also works the exact same way when it comes to like drawing circles. So with my circle, I'm gonna draw just draw a rough circle first, hold my pencil down until it becomes like perfected. I can also tap the screen with one finger and it becomes perfected. So I'll just be doing another example with a triangle as well so you can see that. So the last trick that I wanted to share with you all is how to fill in shapes. This also works, works the same way when it comes to filling in your lettering and your different artwork pieces. But for the longest time, I was manually just coloring in the shapes one by one until I realized that there is like a fill feature. So all you have to do is grab your Apple Pencil, basically tap and drag into the shapes and it becomes filled. So those are pretty much all the main tips and tricks that I wish I knew about Procreate from the very, very beginning. I wish that um, these were things that I was really just familiar with. These are just very little things that just really helped me understand the program a little bit more. So I hope that you enjoyed this mini tutorial and video. I hope that it helps in understanding Procreate a little bit more. Please let me know if you have any questions. Please comment them below. I would love to address and answer anything. And if you also wanted to check out my book, um, it's also listed in the caption below along with my other lettering materials. If you wanted to learn my style of lettering, I do have a bunch of practice sheets at my Etsy shop and thank you so much for your love and support. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!